we have seen the nomenclature of alkanes now let's look at the nomenclature of alkenes and alkynes alkenes are identified by the presence of a double covalent bond and alkynes are identified by the presence of triple covalent bond now the presence of a double bond and a triple bond gives some important properties to these organic compounds and so these groups that is the double bond and triple bond are known as functional groups now the rules remain the same that is the functional group should be included in the longest carbon chain let's take an example we are given this organic compound the first step is to find the longest carbon chain containing the functional group in this case the double bond is a functional group so the longest carbon chain should contain the functional group so this is the longest carbon chain itself and we know four carbon atoms means but since we have a double bond it is butene now when we do not write a number in this case if we ignore this one we know that the double bond is present at position 1 so this butene can be written as simply butene or but 1 in this number 1 shows the position from which the double bond is starting in this case the double bond is between carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 but it is starting from carbon number 1 so we get but 1 in the rule remains the same in this case that is we have to give the lowest number to the substituent or the functional group so in case of butene we can number it in two ways we can start the numbering from the left in that case it becomes but one in if we start the numbering from right the double bond is starting from position 3 so it becomes but 3 in by remembering the rule that we have to give the lowest number to the substituent or the functional group we know that this is not right this is wrong as we have to give the lowest number to the substituent or the functional group in this case so the functional group should be given number 1 and not number 3 so we always give the lowest number to the functional group so while writing the iupac name there are always three parts the first part is the prefix that comes from the substituents present in the compound the second part is the root word which we get from the number of carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain and the third part suffix it shows the functional group present in the organic compound let's take another example we are given this organic compound the first step is to find the longest carbon chain containing the functional group in this case the double bond is the functional group so we include the double bond in the longest carbon chain now we can start the numbering either from left or from right so we can start from left or from right if we start from left the double bond gets position 3 if we start from right the double bond gets the position number 2 so which is right we know the rule states that the functional group should get the lowest number so in this case this is right and this is wrong so we take this that is we start the numbering from the right hand side now we have to give the word root the word root comes from the number of carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain we have five carbon atoms five carbon atoms means pent so this becomes pent the double bond starts from position number 2 so we get 2 and to get the suffix we have to look at the functional group present since the double bond is the functional group so the suffix is in since it is an alkene so this is the iupac name of this organic compound let's take another example we are given this organic compound and we have to find its iupac name so the first step remains the same we have to find the longest carbon chain containing the functional group in this case the double bond is the functional group so this is the longest carbon chain containing the functional group observe if we start the numbering from left we get 1 2 the double bond gets the position number 2 if we start from right we have 
2, 3. The double bond gets position 3, but the substituent gets position number 2. Now we have, we know that we give the lowest number to the substituent or the functional group. In this case, if we start from left, the functional group gets position number 2. If we start from right, the substituent gets position number 2. So how do we start the numbering? We know that the double bond is a functional group and CH3 is a substituent. So while giving the lowest number, the functional group gets a higher priority. Since we give the higher priority to the functional group, so we start the numbering from the left hand side. So when we number it from left, the double bond, which is the functional group in this case, gets a higher priority, so, it's, so it gets a lower number. So we name, number it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The first step is to write the prefix. The prefix comes from the substituent. We have only one substituent, that is methyl, present at position number 4. So we get 4 methyl. Now the second part is the word root. The word root comes from the number of carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain. In this case, we have 5 carbon atoms. 5 means pent. So this becomes pent. Then we look at the position of the functional group. The position of the functional group is position number 2. And in order to name the suffix, we look at the functional group, which is the double bond. So we, we know it is an alkene. So the suffix is ene. So this is the IUPAC name of this organic compound. We are given this organic compound. We have to find its IUPAC name. The first step remains the same. If you look here, we have a triple bond. This means it is an alkyne. So the triple bond is the functional group here. So the longest carbon chain should contain the triple bond. So this is the longest carbon chain. We start the numbering such that the functional group gets the lowest possible number. If we start the numbering from left, the triple bond gets position 1. If we start the numbering from right, 1, 2, 3 the triple bond will get position number 3. So in order to give the lowest number to the triple bond, we start the numbering from left. Now we see there is only one substituent present, that is the methyl group present at position number 3. So our prefix becomes 3-methyl. For the word root, we see there are 4 carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain. 4 means but. The triple bond starts from position number 1. So we give the number 1. And in order to name the suffix, we look at the functional group, which is a triple bond. We know a triple bond means it is an alkyne. So the suffix becomes "-ine". So for alkenes, we use the suffix "-ene". For alkynes, we use the suffix "-ine". So this is the IUPAC name of this organic compound. Let's take a question here. We are given this organic compound. We have to find its IUPAC name. So let's start. First, write the organic compound. Then the first step is to find the longest carbon chain containing the functional group. Notice the functional group is a triple bond in this case. So this is the longest carbon chain containing the functional group. In order to give the lowest number to the functional group, we start the numbering from left. So now we have to name the prefix. The prefix comes from the substituent present at position number 4. So the substituent is a methyl group. For the word root, we see there are 5 carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain. 5 means pent. So this becomes pent. The triple bond starts from position number 1. And since it is an alkyne, the suffix becomes "-ine". So this is the IUPAC name of this organic compound. Let's do another example. We are given this organic compound. The first step, find the longest carbon chain containing the functional group. Now where should we start the numbering from? Let's see. 1, 2, 3. 
If we start the numbering from left, the double bond gets position number 3. If we start the numbering from right, 1, 2, 3. Again, the double bond is getting position number 3. So in this case, the functional group is getting the same number. But if we start the numbering from left, 1, 2, the first substituent gets position number 2. If we start the numbering from right, 1, 2, 3, the first substituent gets position number 3. So in order to give the lowest number to the functional group and the substituent, we start the numbering from the left hand side. So we start the numbering from the left hand side. Now we have to write the prefix. We have two substituents. Methyl and ethyl. We know while arranging the substituents, the rule says that we always arrange the substituents in alphabetical order. So we have ethyl. The E of ethyl comes before the M of methyl. So we first place ethyl and then methyl. So we get 4 ethyl, 2 methyl. So this is the prefix for this organic compound. Next comes the word root. The word root comes from the number of carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain. We have 6 carbon atoms. 6 means hex. So it becomes hex. The double bond is present at position number 3. And we know since there is a double bond, this means it is an alkene. So we use the suffix ene. So this is the IUPAC name of the organic compound. So keep in mind the rules. That is, the, we give the lowest number to the substituent or the functional group. And while naming an organic compound, there are always three parts. The first is the prefix, which is given to the substituents. Then we have the word root, which comes from the number of carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain. And then we have the suffix. This comes from the functional group, which is present in the given organic compound.